Who's ready for another silly story with Miss Cinta? Well, those of you who know me and those of you in my class know Miss Cinta loves Jeremy Tankard's bird books. In class, we've read hmm, The Hungry Bird and um, Grumpy Bird. So today I thought I'd share with you Boo Hoo Bird. Oh, look at Bird. Is he not great? These um, illustrations are just adorable. And Bird has quite a personality. There we go. Boo Hoo Bird by Jeremy Tankard. I hope you love this story. Oh, look. In this title page here, you can see Raccoon and Bird getting ready to play ball together. And I think from the title, Boo Hoo Bird, Mm, I think Bird might get hurt in this story. Let's see what happens. Bird and Raccoon were enjoying a game of catch when Bird got bonked on the head. Oh, look. Aww. It was an accident. An accident happened. But it doesn't mean that it doesn't hurt. Let's see what happens to Bird. Ouch, moaned Bird. That hurt a lot. And Bird began to cry. Look at that tear right there. Oh, poor Bird. And look at Raccoon. Oh, you know he feels badly. Let's see what happens. Oh, no, said Raccoon. I wounded Bird. Here, I'll kiss it better. And Raccoon kissed Bo Bird's bonk. Let's see if you can see, if you can see that page. There we go. That's a little better. All right, and there, there's Raccoon kissing poor Bird. And this page says Bird kept crying. It still hurts. I'm sorry," said Raccoon. "Let's see if Rabbit can help." Oh, look at that. That's such a good friend. turn this just a little bit. Raccoon told Rabbit what happened. Poor bird, said Rabbit. Would a hug help? Rabbit, here we go. There you can see. Rabbit gave Bird a hug. Bird cried some more. It's not helping. Let's go find Beaver, said Rabbit. He'll know what to do. And there, there's Rabbit hugging Bird. And those of you who remember Bird, Bird can be kind of grumpy sometimes. But his friends love him anyway. Oh, look, there the friends are. And let's see what happens. What you need is a cookie, said Beaver. You can fix any problem with a cookie. You know, I have to agree with Beaver. Beaver gave Bird a cookie. Bird cried louder. I think I'm getting dizzy. Well, let's ask Sheep what to do, said Beaver. She's full of ideas. And there's Beaver with his long white teeth offering Bird a cookie. Let's see. Beaver showed Bird's boo-boo to Sheep. How about a game of hide-and-seek, suggested Sheep. The animals ran and hid. You want me to hide? Wailed Bird. I can hardly walk. Surely Fox can make you feel better, said Sheep. She's clever. There we are. Look at poor Bird. He's just miserable. And all of his friends are trying to help. Let's see what happens. Bird got bonked on the head, Sheep told Fox. He's quite upset. What you need is a Band-Aid, said Fox. He disappeared into his den and came back. Band-Aids always make my boo-boos feel better. And Fox put a Band-Aid on Bird's head. See Bird's bunk right there. He's got, a, he's got an owie. He's got a big bobo right there. Let's see if that's going to help. Do you think it will? The Band-Aid isn't working. Boo-hoo-hoo-hoo, cried Bird. Look at all of his friends. Oh, 
Bird is just, um, he's quite a mess. Oh, and look what happens with his friends. Boo! <laughs> cried Bird's friends together. Nothing is making Bird feel better. But I want you to look at Bird. Oh my, he's looking at his friends and his friends are all crying. Let me see if I can get that a little better for you. There, there, all the friends are crying. And Bird, Bird's just looking at them. I wonder what he's thinking. Let's see. Bird looked at his friends and he felt his bunk. He really didn't hurt anymore. I think I'm okay now, he said, but his friends couldn't hear him. Well, why couldn't his friends hear him? Because they're all busy crying. Do you think Bird felt maybe, just maybe, a little bad? I said, I'm all better now, shouted Bird. <laughs> Silly Bird. He's quite dramatic, isn't he? Some of my friends can be that way when they're not feeling too well. See, Bird stood on his head. He's showing them he's much, much better now. You're so silly, Bird, said the animals, and they laughed and stood on their heads, too. Come on, said Bird, let's play catch. Oh, do you think that's a good idea just yet? Look, Bird's still got his band-aid on his head. And all of his friends are standing on their head looking silly. Let's see what's going to happen when they play catch. Fox throws it in. Bonk! Bird gets hit again. You knew that was going to happen, didn't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> silly Bird, he's going to have two Bobos and maybe two Band-Aids on his head. The end. I hope you liked this short little sweet book called Boo 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 Hoo Bird. Again, by Jeremy Tankard. All of the bird books are absolutely adorable, Mommy, if, if you like this kind of book. I do. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this short but sweet little story about Bird and his friends. I hope you also have a great afternoon. Bye-bye, guys.